Good morning, Facebook and YouTube. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. So this morning, I have an absolutely wonderful treat for you. Today, I'm gonna to be making some keto-friendly caramel pecan sticky buns. I love these things. So we're gonna get started. I've already got, uh, got this going a little bit on the stove. Basically, this is going to be our pastry dough. Um, and this is going to consist of almond flour, Swerve sweetener, some Red Mill xanthan gum, some baking soda, vanilla, 8 ounces of mozzarella cheese, and 1 egg. And as you can see, I'm doing this in kind of a makeshift double boiler. Uh, this is basically all of those ingredients that we just spoke about. And I'm doing this in a double boiler to get it all melted down to begin making our crust uh, or our buns, if you will. So I'm going to go ahead and let this finish cooking and uh, we're going to be rolling this out in a minute. So we'll get to that step here in just a second as soon as this is done cooking. Uh, please, you guys, if you like this video throughout and you find it uh, helpful, please make sure that you like, feel free to comment with any questions, and always share this if you found this video helpful. So hold on tight, we're going to get to rolling out our pasta or our, uh, sticky buns here in just a moment. Alright guys, so our dough is now ready to roll out. So I've just taken it out of the pan. And what we want to do is just knead this a little bit to make sure that all of the flour is mixed in, you know, mixed in really well with the cheese mixture and just all of the other ingredients. So you don't want to knead it too much because it will start to get sticky. But just make sure that it's a nice consistency. Okay, I've got this on some parchment paper. So now we're going to just take another piece of parchment paper and we're going to roll this out into a rectangle. careful with your with your dough that you don't stretch it out too much just want to make it into a nice rectangle all right and now that we've got this we're going to get ready and be able to add our um, uh, cinnamon mixture that's going to go in the center so stay tuned for that all right, guys, we are back now. We are making the caramel, uh, the caramel pecan stickiness that's gonna go on these caramel pecan sticky buns. So what we have in the saucepan is uh, three tablespoons of Swerve sweetener. We have one tablespoon of, um, actually we have three tablespoons of syrup. We have a tablespoon of molasses also have a tablespoon of caramel syrup and I think that's all I have in here uh, oh and a tablespoon of water and we're basically cooking this on a high heat just getting it to kind of reduce boil up a little bit you don't want to overcook this or burn it because it will ruin the flavor so once this boils we're just going to stir it up a little bit and then we're going to turn our heat down and we are going to whisk in a quarter cup of butter. And we wanna make sure that that gets all nice and incorporated together. And we're gonna stir that constantly. We're gonna let this boil up and then uh, we're going to add some more to that. So sit tight. Alright guys, so we've got that reduced down a little bit. What I've done is gone ahead and after I've added the butter, let that boil for about three to four minutes. I've added a half cup of heavy cream. 
and basically what I'm doing is allowing this to boil up again, whisking this, and I'm gonna let this boil for another two to three minutes. Once that boil is done, we're gonna turn the heat off. We're gonna add about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then this is going to be used for uh, to coat the pastry as well as to coat the pan. All right, so now that we've got the caramel uh, sticky topping um, all cooked down, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour some of this inside of the pastry. Just wanna make sure that you've got enough in here to coat your pastry. And I'm just gonna use a spatula for that. So we wanna put a nice thin layer all over the pastry. Alright, now that we've got that spread, we're also going to take our pecan, cinnamon, and uh, stevia mixture and we're just gonna spread this all over the pastry and I'll give you guys all of the measurements um, down in the comments section or in the description section uh, below uh, but basically just want to walk you through the steps so that you can see how to do it okay so now that we've got that all spread out we're basically just going to roll this into a log it may be a little tricky at first to get it going Basically, you can use your parchment paper to guide it. And then you just want to keep rolling it over. end so I'm actually going to tuck it all in there together to make the log nice and tight and then now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this into eight to nine or ten sticky buns and I apologize guys my tripod kind of keeps falling over there so now we're just going to cut this, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've got about nine out of this roll, and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get these cut. So I've already got my um, my pan buttered up. Uh, typically, you would put these in a round, like a cake pan or a pie pan, uh, but I can't find my pan, so I'm not quite sure what that is. But basically now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna coat this with our caramel sauce. You're just gonna pour the rest of that in there. Spread it around. And we're going to top this with our pecans so I will show you what that looks like here in just a second 
All right, so now we're just gonna add the pecans to the caramel, and I'm just using uh, pecan pieces. And you're just gonna spread that so you've got a nice layer of pecans. It's gonna be probably about a half a cup to a cup. And then basically what we're gonna do now is we're just going to flatten out our sticky rolls. And we're gonna place those on top of the caramel. And this will fit nicely. You're just gonna do three rows of three. And then these are gonna go in the oven for um, at 350 degrees. And of course, each oven can vary. But we're gonna go ahead and get these stuck in. I'll let you know um, how long the cooking time for that is gonna be. And next thing you know, we'll be bringing these out of the oven all nice and hot and sticky. All right, everybody. So cooking time on these actually is gonna be about 20 to 25 minutes, depending on your oven but these things are ready to come out. Oh man. All right guys, can you see that? Oh, these are amazing. All right, so basically now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that cool down for just a minute or two. Um, obviously we don't wanna have it boil over. Then we're gonna place the pan on it flip it upside down and those things are going to come out. We're going to scrape out the rest of the sticky stuff and eat these things nice and hot. Uh, again, it makes nine uh, sticky buns. One is per serving um, unless you're earning your carbs, right? Uh, but I will give you guys the complete uh, nutritional layout in this and as soon as I flip it over, I'm going to give you guys the finished product. So sit tight. All right, guys, I have just dumped these things out onto the plate. Um, the lighting is not the best in here, so they do look a little dark, but these things, I gotta tell you, they have turned out amazing. Oh, they smell delicious. Getting ready to bite into one of these, and uh, anyway, these things are amazing. So keto-friendly caramel pecan sticky buns. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, please, if you go ahead and make these, make sure you come back, leave me some comments, let me know how they turned out. Uh, again, you'll find all of the instructions down in the comment section of the video. So again, I'm going to go enjoy these. I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful Sunday. Go out, make it a, a great day, and we will see you guys on the next video. Take care.